Real Matters, R-E-A-L, very simple on the TSX, trades at about $5.35, $390 million market cap. So it's a small cap in Canada. Real Matters, the company provides network management solutions to North American lenders and insurers. Its platform leverages independent field agents to deliver appraisals and title and closing services. Uh, The stock... Uh, it, it's been flat relative for the year, but it has lost 84% of its value uh, post-pandemic from highs in the $33 range. The Q4 results, its fiscal year 2023 results as well. Net revenues dropped 22% to $11.2 million from fourteen point four, And for the year, dropped 50% to $43 million from $85.4 million. Adjusted EBITDA was positive at 600000 for the quarter from a loss of 1.1 million in the same period last year, Q4 2022. The company reported net income of one cent on an adjusted basis for the Q4 and a loss of three cents on an adjusted basis for the year. On a positive note, Real does have a good balance sheet and exited Q4 of its fiscal year with a net cash position of 42.3 million. That's about 80 cents per share. Uh, The valuations, well, on a forward-looking EV to EBITDA basis, the company is uh, essentially trading around 50 times EV to EBITDA. Now, this would be based on some optimistic estimates that I saw out there. Our take, real matters, is is operating in a difficult environment at present. Over the company's recently reported fiscal 2023, U.S. mortgage origination volumes were the lowest on record in the last 28 years. Mortgage applications, for example, in October 2023, were the lowest since May 1995. It's estimated that for the first three quarters this year, 2023, mortgage originations in the U.S. were down about 30% relative to the same period a year ago. Suffice it to say, this is not good for Real's current business. Real posted a tremendous growth trajectory from 2014, when its revenues were about 128.1 million, uh, to 2021, when they peaked at 638.6 million, this was during historically low rate environment. As rates have risen, consolidated revenues have dropped from that 638 million dollar peak in 2021 to 222.6 million in fiscal year 2023, just reported. Uh, while market volumes appear to be Closing in on a trough, we do not have visibility on a sustained shift in the macro backdrop whereby interest rates fall and mortgage spreads begin to normalize. Current valuations are not cheap and appear to imply that a midterm recovery is already priced into the stock. Whether it has hit rock bottom or not, it's tough to estimate. What we do know is that there are plenty more companies in our coverage at present with lower valuations and better near-term to mid-term growth certainty than real, we would pass on this company at present. That's all I got on that. Yeah. And so this is, this is the situation where, you know, when you're looking at a company that is, that is in decline, like maybe a a short-term decline, you you want to be compensated for that extra risk um, by being able to pay a lower valuation. I mean, that's where your margin of safety is. So when you're, you know, the company has seen challenging financial times, but it's still trading at a big premium. I mean, that's not, that's not a combination. That... No, no. And it, it offers residential mortgage appraisals for purchase and refinance. And, and in some of the refinance areas in the U S you haven't had to do uh, some of the home inspections and the, uh, the title searches that you had in the past. So they've kind of eased those regulations. There is, not only a general macro uh, downturn that they're facing, but there are some regulatory changes that have hit the company as well, as far as I understand. So, you know, from on a forward looking basis, even based on, you know, relatively optimistic estimates for them to have somewhat of a recovery in the second half of next year, it's still trading at 15 times or 50, 50, sorry, 50 times EV to EBITDA off those estimates. Uh, I don't think that, you know, you're being compensated for the risk that is in here right now. And I I think that, uh, I think that, you know, I think that this company is relatively well run. They have a good balance sheet, but um, there are, like we said, 
your capital is always fighting for a place to go to. If we can see another business that trades at low valuations that has growth ahead of it that we can forecast with a higher degree of certainty, there's less certainty here, we'll put our dollars there. And not that this is the worst company on the planet or anything like that. Uh, it's just not where we would be putting our dollars right now with any certainty. They actually have a really good uh, chart in their MDNA for uh, really showing the macro situation in the U.S. housing market, which I'll put up on screen. Yeah, And excellent. you can see in that 2020-2021 era, era, during the COVID years, when we had the super low interest rates. And if you're a Canadian listen to, listening to this, the U.S. standard mortgage is a 30-year fixed mortgage. So unlike ours, where it's a, normally a five-year, even the average is less now, fixed rate, and then you'll have a 30-year amortization, there's this fixed the entire time. So yeah. you can see the U.S. really refinanced. So you had all these refinancing originations during that super low interest rate because everyone wants to lock in that one and a half, two percent yeah. Incredible boom for yeah. business. for them Exactly. Yeah. And now you've seen that just drop off. So you can see in this graph that it just, the refinancings effectively have disappeared because you haven't seen these interest rates in 20 years. Yeah, who wants to refinance right now? <laughs> like it, <laughs> exactly. It's, it, yeah, it's it's it doesn't it's the environment right now is not good for the business. So, you know, we'll 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 not be putting our dollars at present towards real. You know, we'll watch the company. There's likely a time when that switches. And and you know, there could be a, an investment opportunity, but it's certainly not at this price and based on forward estimates near term, it doesn't meet our criteria. 